Welcome back to our program here on the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Rick Wall. We will continue our conversation with Mr. Scott Robinson, who is the director of the American Cultural Center here in Taipei. Scott, I know that you've been talking about the concept of a creative city. Mm -hmm. You know, creativity, of course, is a very important part of any uh, you know uh, culture, mm -hmm. and uh, especially when it comes to cultural exchanges between two societies. Do you think that Taipei, in your two years here, uh, has given you a sense that this is a creative city, there's a lot of new ideas, new things happening, floating around, or is this something that just, you know, more bottled up inside within itself? Mm -hmm. what, what is your sense on this? I think, I think Taipei is without question a creative city. Okay. Um, you know, as I said, I, I I'm never uh, bored at, at, yeah, at lacking <laughs> things to do Dude, or okay. cultural things to do here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, either on the weekends or, or during the week. Mm -hmm. um, I think that uh, you know, openness, mm -hmm. uh, democracy, those kinds of things are so important to, yes. to, to creativity. Mm -hmm. um, you also need to have, uh, you know, the leadership. I yes. think to be to be a truly creative city, mm -hmm. you need to have. Uh, uh, giving the sense of direction, move, yeah. moving you in that direction, and okay. I think Taiwan definitely has those kinds of people. Mm -hmm. um, someone I used to work uh, closely with, uh, who is a professor at Jiangda, okay. a professor of creativity, mm -hmm. Dr. Wu Jingji. Oh, you okay. might know yes, his name. Yes. I know he's another Dr. Wu. He's a well-known. Um, he uh, he was the head of our uh, of our Fulbright program office here for over thirty years, and he's someone who has spent a lot of time mm -hmm. researching. Uh, creativity okay. and uh, sort of planting those seeds yes. all around Taiwan mm -hmm. uh, and finding ways that uh, that uh, Taiwan mm -hmm. can be even more creative. Okay. Um, you mentioned Taipei. I would say, uh, in addition to Taipei, you know, cities like Kaohsiung, okay. Taichung, Taichung okay. have done a lot to promote mm -hmm. the arts, yes. um, and and a lot of that has come from the leadership, and mm -hmm. that's something that I think is is, is nice mm -hmm. uh, to see. Mm -hmm. um, even small places, you know, I, I uh, frequently go out to mm -hmm. Inga, mm -hmm. the, where oh, the Inga yes. Ceramics Museum is. Precisely. That's a great example, I think, of mm -hmm. of sort of an organically, mm -hmm. uh, of an organic yes. creative city. Mm -hmm. You know, there was this industry of ceramics that mm -hmm. was historically based in that area okay and over time it turned into a real uh, a real hotbed of creativity there's a wonderful museum there yes um, and there's a lot of, of business that comes out of it too mm, yes. so uh, I've given talks and sort of introduced certain cities in the United States that have okay. been designated as being creative cities okay places like Santa Fe New Mexico oh, which is a, okay. a, a, a I've never a, been a hotbed of, of yeah. arts and crafts okay yes. um, Iowa City, Iowa, which is the home of the Iowa Writers Workshop, mm, which is a, yes. a, 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 a really a, a training ground for mm. future writers. Okay. Uh, those are those are places in the United States that mm -hmm. uh, that have, have have used creativity as yeah. as really part of their identity. Yeah. So. Of course, over the last few years, we've been talking about you know this notion of soft powers. Mm -hmm. Of course, under that concept, culture is very important part of it, and also creativity. It's also a critical part of that. And uh, given the fact that uh, you know, we're in Taiwan, continue also to talk about ways that we can strengthen and enhance Taiwan's soft powers around the world. Mm -hmm. And as a foreign diplomat that's been in Taiwan for you know, approximately two years now, what would be your observation and recommendations, you make some, you know, in terms of how to further develop soft powers in the future? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, uh, you know, any time you, you, you talk okay. about things like that, it, you need okay. to look organically at what you, what you have. You know, yeah, what, you have to what offer. we already have. Something that I think Taiwan has mm -hmm. to offer, obviously, okay. is, is uh, the Mandarin Chinese language. Okay. Um, you yes. know, among, among the many languages that are spoken in Taiwan, mm -hmm. I think that Chinese right now is, is, is an important connection yes. with uh, places like the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there are hundreds and hundreds and probably thousands and thousands of students in the United States who are who start learning Mandarin exactly. every day yes mm -hmm. um, and uh, that I think is a good point of connection uh, okay. we we do uh, work with the uh, Minister of Education here mm -hmm. to help bring groups of American students to Taiwan okay. to study Chinese right. we have a group who's arriving next week I'm going uh -huh. to brief them they're high school age okay. uh, from the state of Alabama mm -hmm. um, and okay. uh, I know that the Ministry of Education publishes a very useful guide mm -hmm. to all of the different Mandarin training 
training centers, centers in around Taiwan. the world. Oh, in, in Taiwan, Taiwan. okay. So, right. so uh, that's a good way, I think, to bring uh, foreigners here okay. to to have to have a, a chance to to connect. Because mm -hmm. you know, if you if you come here to learn Chinese, you're going to learn more than just that. You know, you're going to learn about Taiwan. You're going to learn, learn about, about Taiwan's the people, history. Right? And you're going to be greeted by friendly people, which yes. I think uh, is, is, is something that uh, Taiwan really has going for it. The mm -hmm. people here are extremely friendly mm -hmm. to foreigners. Um, mm -hmm. you know, if I walk down the street, people okay. don't know who I am, but they're all <laughs> people smiling and saying hello. And I think that that's a, that's a, good, uh, that's a, that's a good entry point. Of course. Um, okay. And I think, uh, you know, I think that the arts in general are a good way to, to, uh, mm -hmm. to interact with people. Of course. You know, before I came to Taiwan, I developed my understanding of Taiwan from when I was a little kid, you know, mm. from partially from movies. Really? Um, and not Hollywood movies. No. Um, Some of the uh, movies that movies were made in like, Taiwan? Like movies like yeah. Li'an's early oh, movies yes, yes. or Ho Xiaoxian's yeah. films. Early, yes. Um, you know, I, I uh, just last week had the chance to meet Ho Xiaoxian when he was getting an honorary degree okay. from National Taiwan was that the University first of the Arts. Had? First meeting I've had with him. And it was, <laughs> okay. it was uh, it an experience to me yes. because his films yeah. uh, really uh, made an impression on me okay. and gave me sort of a sense of the landscape and the flavor mm -hmm. and the, the history of Taiwan. Okay. Um, I think his works in their style, you know, they're very sort of quiet and, and, and minimalistic in yes. a way. Yeah. And uh, that, was, that really left an impression on me. So yeah. I think that using the arts uh, is a good way to enhance you know, mm -hmm. soft power. The okay. problem is, is I think you can't really approach it like that. You know, what I mean, no. you have to approach it by by nurturing of a a, uh, a vibrant arts have. community, yes. yeah. and then that will that mm -hmm. will in, in 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 effect do the work for you. Okay, and given the fact that you're representing the American you know cultural affairs offices here in Taiwan, what would be some of the things that you see in American culture that can help Taiwan even further to develop the island's creativity? whether it's in the arts, uh, whether in other areas like technology or education mm -hmm. or information, whatever. What were some of the you know, you know, things that you see in your own culture that may be you know, you know, you know, in a way to help Taiwan develop this creativity even further? Yeah. Well, that's, you know, I would say uh, just about so many themes can yeah. fit into that. Yeah. Um, you know, we do, we do programs uh, I mean, I've done speaking programs on exactly that point, okay. sharing examples from the United States of ways that governments mm -hmm. fostered creativity in their own cities and okay. states mm -hmm. um, and finding ways to share those examples with Taiwan. Mm -hmm. you know, obviously, whenever you talk about, you know, uh, sort of helping or giving advice, so to mm -hmm. speak, to other places, yeah. it's hard to do because we have a different system, different size, yes. you know, we've got uh, different states, cities, it's all in uh, different regions, so, different. so it's, it's hard. Yeah. So what, what I really try to do, again, proceeding from a position of respect, yes. is to, to share examples of maybe government initiatives or, you know, f local government programs that have helped to turn creativity into uh, uh, you know, business opportunity in cities, mm -hmm. and in terms of just keep making that city alive mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know moving it ahead in terms of its creativity. Yes. Um, so I've done talks on that. We also try to bring over, uh, you know, we continue to do our exchange programs. Yes. Some people even will go and research that theme of creativity oh, okay. right. um, through uh, partially through our Fulbright program yes and uh, mm -hmm. and I think exchange is, is, is a key component of that mm -hmm. um, yeah. and uh, you know we we really just try to to share as much of America as we can we try yes. to just round out the picture that people have okay. of the United States okay. so that they can have a you know fair and accurate uh, okay. view of us. Okay. And Scott, I'm going to ask you something, you know, related, but mm -hmm. maybe, you know, a little bit off the chart, mm -hmm. in the sense that when we talk about creativity anywhere around the world, what is also important, you know, in terms of developing creativity and concepts is the fact that you need to have adequate protection for people's ideas, for mm -hmm. people's creativity. And traditionally, Intellectual property rights has been, uh, you know, somewhat of a you know, problem, you know, between the United States and Taiwan. And based on your observation, 
Has that improved over the years? And uh, certainly we're not on the 301 right. list anymore. Right. And then how would you think that such an improvement uh, in the future will help Taiwan, not only in terms of solidifying relations with the United States, but also with other trading partners when we're becoming more and more creative? Mm -hmm. Again, I'm, I'm not an expert on IPR, but I do know that uh, you know, things have improved yes. over Quite the years. A bit, yes. and, and, and that's, uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that is important. Obviously, you can't really, uh, you know, peop creative people won't be drawn to a place no. as much if, if they don't have the protection of their ideas and Precisely. their products. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I definitely think that it's, it's, uh, it's part and parcel of it. Yes. Um, I also know that, you know, Taiwan contributes a lot to a lot of American patents. Mm. Taiwan firms are are, yeah, are among, among the yeah. leaders in registering U.S. patents. So yeah. I think there is a mutual recognition yeah. of how important uh, IPR yeah. is to, to our relation. Yeah, I certainly think that our government in the last few years has certainly put a lot of efforts into mm -hmm. that area. And we're you know, beginning to see the results of that. I yeah. hope the efforts will continue. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take another break on our program today, and we'll be right back. And we'll continue our conversation with Mr. Scott Robinson, who is the director of the American Cultural Center here in Taipei. I'll see you in just a few minutes.